Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about even and odd functions. Now, an even function is defined as a function such that f of minus x is the same as f of x. Okay, so if I replace x with minus x in a function, then actually what I get out is exactly the same original f of x function. So what that would mean would be something like f of x is equal to x squared. Okay, so if I looked at that function, then f of minus x is minus x all squared, which would be the same as x squared. And what I've shown is that f of minus x is actually the same as f of x. So that is what we mean by an even function. The fact that I could replace the x with minus x and get out the same function that I started with. Now, f of x equals x squared, what that looks like is our bog standard parabola. Okay. And what this has as a property is the fact that it has the y-axis as a mirror line, okay, as a line of symmetry. And what this is saying is, well, if I replace the x with minus x, I get the same result. Okay? I get the same y-value. And that is because of this mirror line. So the fact that I can choose um, x equals uh, minus 2, for example, will get me the same result as choosing 2. Okay? So that is what is the result of this. So even functions, in general, because the minus x makes no difference to the function whatsoever, that must mean that it must look the same either side of the y-axis. And so even functions have the property of having uh, the y-axis is a line of symmetry. And that is true for all even functions. Odd functions, on the other hand, have the property that f of minus x is the same as minus f of x. OK? Now, an example of that would be f... Oh, let's go with the red would be f of x is equal to x cubed, okay, rather than x squared. Because if I replace the x with minus x, I get minus x all cubed. So something like minus 2 all cubed is minus 8. The fact is you can bring that minus sign out, and that's the same as minus x cubed, which is minus f of x. So y, y equals x cubed is an example of an odd function. So reminding ourselves of what this looks like. Okay, here is f of x equals x cubed. And this clearly doesn't have the property of the even functions. The y-axis is not a line of symmetry. However, it does have the curious fact that in you know you notice it as you draw it, the fact that when I'm going up like that, it's the same as the curve going down like that. Okay, so it is the same as rotating this curve 180 degrees about the origin, and this graph would fit on itself. Okay, now this is coming through from the fact that if I uh, choose a value of x, so um, let's say uh, x equals minus 2, so here's my minus 2, that point is at minus 8, 
okay, which is the same as doing minus f of x minus 2 cubed. So here's my 2, going up to 8, okay. And so, you know, I haven't drawn this <laughs> perfectly accurately, but yes, one will map onto the other. And so, what we can say is that for odd functions, they have the property of being uh, having rotational symmetry about the origin by 180 degrees. Okay, so in all cases for odd functions, you c they are the same graph uh, rotated 180 degrees about the origin. Now, you can have functions that are neither. Functions don't sit into these two camps, okay? You can have neither. So, for example, f of x equals 2x plus 3, for example, is neither. If I replace x with minus x, I get two lots of minus x plus 3, which is minus 2x plus 3. Now, that is not the original function, certainly, so it's not even. And this is not minus 2x plus 3, which is minus f of x, because minus 2x plus 3 would be minus 2x minus 3, so it's not an odd function either. So you can get functions that are neither as well, okay? But these are two special types, even and odd functions, that are worth knowing about.